Okay then gang, so in this video I'm going to show you how we can animate SVGs, in particular this one right here that I've already created. And this is defined inside the header component right here. Now this is the SVG. I'm not going to go into any great depth about how we create SVGs manually. This is not an SVG course, but if you want to learn that it's pretty simple. Just Google SVG tutorial and there's plenty of those out there. Now, in our case, we have two paths right here, and each path represents a different part of this SVG. So this path and this a lot of coordinates represents this big path at the bottom, the big part of the pizza. And this smaller path right here, this represents the small part of the pizza. Now, I realize that this probably looks more like Pac-Man eating something than it does a pizza, but nonetheless, I'm gonna show you how to animate these paths regardless. So these things right here, these D attributes, these are the coordinates that make up the path. And that's how they're kind of drawn onto the page. And that's eventually what we're gonna animate these path things. But first of all, I also want to animate this. So there's three things in total we're gonna to do. We're gonna animate this SVG itself by rotating it, I don't know, 180 degrees or something like that. Then we're gonna animate this path then we're going to animate this path, right? So they look as though they're being drawn on the screen. And it's the path length property that we're actually going to animate. So first of all, let's do the SVG. And I'm going to use variance to do this. So I'm going to say const SVG variance is equal to an object. And inside, I'm going to create a hidden property, first of all. And to begin with, this is going to be the initial state. I'm going to say rotate and it's gonna be minus 180 degrees. So this is the initial state. It's being rotated backwards to begin with. Now we also need a visible, and to be honest, it's never gonna be hidden. So we could have called these initial and animate, but it doesn't really matter. And this one right here, this visible is gonna be rotate back to zero, its original position. And also we're gonna add a transition property whereby we set the duration to be one second, like so. So now I could apply these variants to this SVG. So first of all, remember, we have to use the motion component right here. So we say motion.svg, and down at the bottom, we say motion.svg as well. And then in here, we can say the variants are equal to the SVG variants. Okay, now we also need an initial attribute so let's set that equal to hidden and we need an animate attribute and set that equal to visible okay so let me save that and preview and if we just refresh we can see now it rotates a little bit on its own it doesn't look good but it will look good when the paths are animating as well so now let's create some path variants for these two things they're both going to use the same variance object so we'll just create one and let's call this path variance. Okay, let me set that equal to an object. Inside we have a hidden initial state and the opacity is gonna be zero to begin with. So it's gonna fade in over time. Also, the prop I want to animate is gonna be path length. Now this path length is gonna start at zero and the path length is the length of the actual path that makes up this SVG. So to begin with, it's gonna be zero. So the pen will be kind of hovering over its initial position, but it won't have actually touched the screen yet to draw anything, if that makes sense. So later, we're gonna animate this to be a path length of one. And what will happen is the pen will kind of drop down onto the screen and draw in time the full SVG path. Okay, so this is our initial state. Now we also need a visible property and that is gonna have an opacity of one. So it goes from an opacity of zero to one, but also we're gonna animate the path length to one as well, okay? And the transition here is gonna be an object whereby the duration will be two seconds. It takes two seconds, therefore, to draw this SVG and the path length to go from zero to one. Same for the opacity. And also, we're gonna use an easing function, and this is gonna be ease in out. Okay, again, you can play with these. This is just one that I thought looked good. You can find a whole list of these different functions on the frame of motion documentation. Okay, so let's apply this path variance 
to these paths over here. Now, first of all, we need to say motion dot path right here and it's self closing. So we don't need a second one at the end and also motion dot path right here. Now we can add a variance attribute to each one of these and it's going to be the path variance like so. And I'm going to do the same thing for this path. Now we don't need to explicitly say we want the hidden and visible to be the initial and animate because it's going to inherit these two lines right here. OK, so let me save this, cross my fingers and come over here. And now we can see it draws this SVG on the page and that looks pretty nice. And how simple was that to animate an SVG just using a couple of different properties, the opacity, the path length and also this rotate property as well. So really, it doesn't matter how complex your path is for your SVGs. You can use just a few properties to make it really stand out when it first loads on the page. And that looks really kind of slick and nice.